to the bargain market. Uh, I love this grocery store. And as a matter of fact, I love it because you never know what you're gonna find. And so I hadn't been here for a while. I came in last week and I was so excited, like literally giggling in the grocery store because I found so many things, which are sometimes difficult for vegans to find. So I figured I'd take you guys with me and we're gonna go shopping again. So when you first walk into the grocery store, you find a little produce section here on the side, lots of little snacky snacks, um, but no worries. There is a large produce section in the back. But right here at the door, you see some of your root vegetables, your onions and potatoes. Um, they have some good prices on avocados this week as well. And then you walk into this first aisle, which is the nosh aisle. We're gonna talk a little bit about that uh, more later. You have lots of different cereals, and then all these nuts, these, um, bag nuts and um, nuts in containers, almost like through candies. I, I was really impressed with the selection. I hadn't been here in a while, and when they reorganized it to be able to walk right into this, I was, you know, quite impressed. Especially some of these dried, veg fried fruit. They can be quite expensive, and I get some at Costco. It's a bigger bag, of course, so it's going to be more expensive, but to be able to find, you know, a bag of figs for $2.99 or $3.99 is a really, really good price, and you know, sometimes I'll use those in my smoothies or whatnot, and I like to find a reasonable bag that I can uh, get and take care of, you know, pretty quickly. So, we have some mushroom blends. Ooh, all, look at all these different blends. There's wheatgrass powder, there's maca and mushroom, spirulina. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I've been trying to find some lion's mane powder about the nutritious value of some of these and I'm I would like to cook some mushrooms but I can't find this particular kind I think I'm gonna have to get the powder yeah, yeah. Mm. All these different so yeah the music was just I, I'm still singing 80s music but um but again outside of the mushroom powder you see all these other types of powders which are sometimes difficult to find. You can't get all your veggies in, then throw some of the, these in a smoothie or in your oatmeal or mix it up in whatever it is you're eating and you, you'll be doing pretty good. Uh, I've, I've not ever seen some of these that are here, so their selection was quite impressive. This beet latte, I'm not even sure what that is, but I'm gonna have to go back and get that because um, you know, such the, whether it's the bead or the other things that are in there, it's just a lot of really good, good things. Here we go, Nosh, natural, organic, specially healthy. That's what the Nosh is. And they have an entire aisle of Nosh here. Go ahead, grocery store. So this is your crunchy kind of aisle. Uh, I don't do a lot of the junk food, but I, I found a lot of things that I can really snack on. Your snacky, <laughs> snack, snack kind of things. There, I saw watermelon jerk, uh, jerky that was brand new. But if you like like your Lara bars or um, quick nuts, things that you would take, uh, you would like this aisle too. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We are in trouble. I have seen these Tets Kates before. But they have an entire bag for $3.97 on sale. I'm about to empty this. I'm about to empty this right here. Now these are not soft, they're crispy, and I don't usually like crispy, but these are delicious. Okay, let's look and see what we got here. Unbleached flour, cookies, plant butter. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh my goodness. Alright. In the cart. Let's be getting healthy stuff. And of course, when you get through all your cookies and again, your kind bars and, um, you know, snack bars, as I mentioned, layer bars, things, all of these are found in the, in this first nosh aisle. I thought it was just an aisle, but it actually are multiple parts of aisles that have these, this nosh um, identification. Awesome. I've heard of this one. Oats, pulp flour, brown sugar. Ooh, these look really good. Yeah, speak up. These look good. Hmm. They also have an oat mutton muffin mix. Huh. Oh, they're a baking mix. Oh, okay. Never saw these. So all you need to do is add a little bit of something, something, and you got yourself a cookie. Not bad. 
plant-based cream or steel. Ooh, <laughs> That's new. So these are creamers. Are this for like your and coffee and stuff? Milks. Oh, I've never heard of banana flavored milks. I've gotten hemp milk here before. Um, didn't care for that one, but the prices are really good. So if you just want to try something, you know, 99 cent for soy milk or hemp milk or banana milk or whatnot, can't beat it as opposed to buying an entire thing. Ooh, 79 cents. And I did try oat milk and I really like it. I started buying it. Oh. This is difficult. I couldn't find this the other day. And now I see I had run out of nutritional yeast. So at least I know where I can find it. They have a lot of kinds of flowers too. Quinoa flowers sometimes is kind of difficult to find. Um, yeah. Almond flour, different kinds of sugar. They also had lots of different kinds of sugars. Um, you know, whether it's flowers or sugars, a lot of people really want that all natural. Uh, you know, blend. I was surprised at the different types of nut bars and nut butters uh, that they have. Multiple kinds of agave and syrup. They had 100% um, organic. Well, a lot of organic things, but um, the syrup and the dressings. These are oftentimes very difficult to find. Uh, the Daya brand or any brand. Um, sometimes I'll find Annie's too, and I, I see that. And there's a whole another line below that one aisle that you can see or below that shelf. But a lot of selection for dressings and uh, things like that that it would be difficult to find in other places oop here you go mac and cheese they got the dye of mac and cheese they even have follow your heart at mac and cheese and i don't think i've ever seen follow your heart mac and cheese a liquid aminos they had the large jars and i don't i don't normally see those as well all right i need to stick this list what is on my list darn it okay so we have collards and kale sweet potatoes of high crust those are oftentimes hard to find without um, dairy in it and fresh broccoli and ginger ale so we're gonna get to the fresh section and the frozen section is where I find a lot of stuff but I gotta get through this and I, I can't help it I always got something Ooh. oat milk creamy soup cumin and carrot oh that looks good I'll try that one hmm cumin and carrot okay I'm gonna try it all right as usual let's see what's in here carrot oat milk onion protein not bad ah they get the cream from cashews all right we're gonna try it okay Ooh, i was looking for some wild rice to make um some wild rice soup the other day that's an awesome price for wild rice oh wow okay so that's the last one of that okay Came on jackfruit. Hmm. I was thinking about doing a jackfruit roast for the holidays, and that is an awesome price. Awesome price. Awesome. Okay. And then you have some organic beans too, because the organic beans usually are more expensive, but you can get these for like a dollar nineteen. I made some quinoa. I mean, uh, quinoa chili, and I used uh, these organic beans last week. Okay. Really good price. I'm excited about this. So in this aisle, we had stuffing. And sometimes uh, when you have flavored stuffing, it'll have chicken juice in it or turkey um, sauce or whatever. But all of the stuffing that I picked in here was plant-based. And I was excited because I love some stuffing and I plan on making a whole bunch of it for the holidays. So this is the regular stuffing. But right next to it, I found the cornbread stuffing, which is even more difficult sometimes to get. And these are the big boxes. Um, Sometimes I make the jiffy jiffy and you know crumble it up, but this one uh, was already done. Down this aisle was lots of beans, and of course you had your Goya brand and other brands as well. And then we hit the sauces, which I love. I am loving sauces right now. I'm always looking to create my own sauces to put on either my bowls or on rice or pasta, uh, or to try different ones in a jar. And if it's just a couple of dollars, I have no problem trying some, like this one right here, Primal Kitchen, which is an, not only an organic brand, but it's also a vegan brand. And I found multiple Primal Kitchen sauces in things here at this grocery store roasted red pepper bruschetta this looks good that'd be great for like an appetizer or something mm. should i do it should i do it no nope. oh eggplant no nope. mother <laughs> the awesome miss pizza the other day diet plant-based pizzas for $3.99 that is a good price that is a good price get the four cheese or 
with the mushroom and garlic. Hmm. All right, all right. Maybe I'll try. Yeah, I think we're gonna try this one. Okay. One of the things I missed when I went vegan was pizza. I used to love pizza. And it was hard to find pizza already done with dairy-free cheese. And I must say, they did a pretty good job here. I found multiple brands that were dairy-free cheese and that had Beyond Meat on them. Um, you know, so it had the plant-based meat and everything. So some of them had your uh, cauliflower crust, which I'm really not always a big fan of. But at least it's here. And the prices were really, really good. Now, these are on cauliflower crust. I don't know if I like cauliflower crust, but it's a good price. We can always try it. Mm. Okay. I don't like this many, but I'm trying one. I'm going to leave this one here. Listen, y'all need some pizza. Come on down and get it. If I can find a dessert already done. So awesome. Now, pecan pie usually has, oh, you're good. has eggs and stuff in it. Burn, and it does. If you want more options of pie, there's some in the doors in the bottom shelf. Thank you. Blueberry pie should be good. No dairy. I have not had a good blueberry pie in a long time. We're going to get one. Thanksgiving. So this aisle had an impressive array of plant-based uh, meat or meat substitutes. There was Beyond Meat, there was Gardein, we saw Impossible Meat, I saw Quarrel, and even Daring, and I don't see Daring uh, that often. So uh, a lot of great ones. I was honestly looking for a bag of kale and a bag of spinach and a long... Uh, Kale, oh, and a bag of collards. I didn't see my kale and collards, but I thought the spinach had a really good price, as well as a nice selection of healthy looking, nice looking vegetables, because you don't always find that in, in, in grocery stores. They even had mushrooms, and these are a great price. Uh, these caps were, were looking pretty good, and you can get them whole or sliced, and the price didn't change. I was quite impressed with that. Um, Hey, they have tofu here. This is a really good price. Good firm, um, extra firm. Oh, and medium firm. Okay. Nice, nice. Of course, my daughter's looking at Uncrustables. These are actually vegan. cheese aisle we hit the frozen section um, whether it's prepared meats or I'm sorry prepared dinners and, uh, all kinds of things I was surprised I saw a few a few different items things that I could take for lunch I didn't know they had little pizzas we're going to try that one purple carrot. I have seen purple carrot on television uh, where you can join like the purple carrot that will bring you food but uh, I didn't know they had their own bowl. Alright, 
have any uh, dairy free ice cream. Hey, mm -hmm. I see. There's some diamond mm -hmm. right up there. Also vegan oat milk mint chip pops. I also saw Boca burgers and a couple things down here in the freezer meat section. Not too many, but good. We've got a big bag of garden. Seven grain fish pretenders. I do have this in a large bag. I haven't either. It's beautiful. <laughs> Be excited. I, want to I, I lived off of these in college. Did you really? Mm -hmm. I want a bag. I don't know if they'll make it. Yeah, I don't know if they'll make it. Especially with all the food. True, true. And they were good? I never tried them. Screw it. That was a nice selection of honeys there too, um, and um, preserves or marmalades, things like that. Sometimes that's always good to have around. I found some pie crust. Yeah, I'm impressed. All right. So my bill came to eighty three seventy six, and I saved sixty eight eighty two. That's pretty good considering some of the organic kind of stuff that I got. That whole Nosh department, kind of liking that. They're hard to find. Hopefully you got to see all the really cool stuff that they have in there. Organic things, that whole Nosh department, I was very impressed with. You gotta get in there when you find stuff because they have new things at different times. So check out the grocery outlet, bargain market, and you're gonna find some good stuff.